Hello, it's Lydia Monks here. Um, I'm going to do your drawing. I'm going to draw some of the characters from our new book, What the Ladybird Heard at the Seaside. I'm going to draw you the mermaid. She's a bit like the singing mermaid. She's got slightly different colour hair. I'm going to draw you the mermaid and the ladybird from this book. So let's see, where shall I start? Just start with the mermaid's head, I think, first. I'm just going to draw a part of her head, like that because she's got lots of hair, so I want to do her hair first, just to make sure I can fit it all in. In fact, I'm going to do her neck there. Now her arm, her hair's going to come all the way round like this, but I'm going to do her arm first. I'm going to do her arm coming out from under her hair. Now she's going to be holding, she's going to be holding someone. So there's a bit of her, we'll start her like that, a bit of her hair there. Her hair can come all the way down. Should we do it that shape? Sort of like that. I think it would go like that. We can fill that in in a minute. So she's going to come down like that. She's got two eyes. Some eyelashes. A little nose. Now I always do a, a little love heart shaped mouth like that. So I think she's going to be smiling. So she do some more of her hair. I think her other arm will be hidden behind behind her, so we don't need to draw that one. We'll give her some hair. A little bit coming down here, perhaps. And there we are. She's got all her ringlets. This mermaid's a bit different from the singing mermaid. This, this, she's got very curly hair. She's got lots of it, but it's very curly. And she's got some freckles. I'm going to give her some freckles, too. Um, now, she's going to be... Let's see, she's going to be sitting on a rock, but it's hard to see. I think if her body came down there behind the rock, I think her tail would come out a bit, sort of like that, from there. I'll draw her tail going back that way. She's got a big fish tail. Can you see that okay? And there we are, we can do her scales on. I'm going to do her sitting on a rock. So we do a big rock, we turn the end of it down here, and we could do some C like that. There. Should I draw her scales on? So, if I draw her scales, I mean this may take some time. If you want to have a go at home, you can you can take far more time than I am doing all her scales. There we are. I'm doing them very quickly. She's also got some little sort of floaty bits like that. So there's our mermaid. Now who's she going to be holding? Who's the star of this book? Let's see, we do the little ladybird like that. She's that shape. Now her eyes are very small. I'm going to have to come in a bit, I think. I'm just going to do two dots there because she's so small on this picture and she stood on her back legs and she's talking to the mermaid telling her what she's heard we'll give it to her smiling there she is so you could do some of the other animals if you like I think I might do should I do the crab? I'm going to do the crab sat on the mermaid's oh I've got a bit close <laughs> you can see the crab sat on the mermaid's knee so here's the crab He's got two eyes on stalks. I'm just going to give him stick legs. There's a little crab. He's going, oh no! What a, what a hefty hue and lanky line up to now. I'm going to draw the sun. The sun smiling down them, maybe some clouds. There we go. It's the mermaid from the new book. How to, is that okay? Does that look alright? I think she looks okay, doesn't she? Okay, there you go. Um, hope you enjoy the new book. Bye bye for now. Bye.